organoleptic testing, we're not just smelling, we're also looking. So essential oils should look a particular way. Specific essential oils are different colours. For example, you know, chamomile should have a little bit of blue in it. Um, if it's German chamomile, it's going to be very blue. If you ever see a black chamomile oil, you know it's oxidised and you wouldn't use it. So you get familiar with what the colour should be. Um, you're also going to be looking at the um, the way it moves, it, 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 it's the way it looks and the way it feels. Because like any industry, the aromatherapy industry, the essential oil industry, there are people who are not 100% honest. And so essential oils are cut. They're very expensive uh, to produce and some plants produce very small quantities. So uh, in order for the end user to make more money, people will cut oils with chemicals usually that are quite hard to discern unless you really start to practice this what's called organoleptic testing. So there are a test you can do where for, where for example you could put a little bit of oil on the tip of your tongue and it should taste a particular way and maybe give a sensation, maybe not. So these are all things that you learn about each oil when you study aromatherapy. It's really fascinating. But like I said, uh, rosemary is an analgesic, so um, it does give a, give a little tingling. The other thing... Mm-hmm. <laughs>